Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Karan Sood. I come from a technology background. It's an honor to be here. And we have been transforming startups, enterprises digitally. I think that today's topic is actually something that is at the heart of an entrepreneur, which basically means transforming tomorrow, igniting the, the innovations for the brighter future. So basically, I, I presume there might be many of the aspiring entrepreneurs in the room. If any of you are looking to pursue entrepreneurship, please raise your hand. So we have a couple of people uh, in the audience. Great. My question to you would be, have you ever thought of building a profitable business which was never intended to only make profits? So basically, what today we'll be discussing in the next 20 minutes for all the aspiring entrepreneurs or anyone who's actually doing entrepreneurship right now is that how you can build a business beyond profit. My intent would be that I can help you all to actually work around an idea as to how you should not build a business against building a regular ordinary business. This would be the agendas of today's call. We'll be starting off from a nationwide campaign that we did with COVID meals for India. We'll be taking it to aligning the entrepreneurial compass and then figuring out how to build a business beyond profits. COVIDmealsforindia.com. This was one initiative and I would actually want you all to go back in time and just realize that straining time when everything was standstill. There was no resources available. And at that time, we were just a regular small team of technology people trying to build certain technology products that could change future. Having said that, our goals largely lied around maximizing profits, maximizing revenue, and possibly growing our team related to all our motives, and that's it. Until COVIDmealsforindia.com happened. I'm not sure if some of you in the audience would have also accessed it at that time. Basically, it was a non-profit platform to connect COVID-affected patients and families with nearby local meal providers. So anyone could actually sign up on the platform and register as a service provider who was looking to help their fellow community. Now, what happened next took India by storm. So basically, I'm talking about a technology team that is just two years old sitting in their homes and creating a master plan to impact 5 lakh plus Indians across 800 plus cities with 11,000 meal providers with an execution that only took 72 hours to go live. Why we did it? I would actually want you to understand how it was possible. It was just possible because we were just calibrating our entrepreneurial compass. And this is a theory a concept that I would like to share with you, which I have myself learned doing all of these executions. So basically, you might have at a point questioned what sets ordinary businesses apart from extraordinary businesses. Many of you, I, I presume all the entrepreneurs in the room, aspiring ones, would have done that. It is all about understanding first what an entrepreneur is. And let's understand the anatomy of an entrepreneur. So here is an entrepreneur standing right in front of you. What he's actually told is that you are carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders. So essentially, this is responsibility. Responsibility of all stakeholders responsibility of team members, responsibility of carrying the vision forward. But at the same time, 
his heart is always filled with desires he is looking to unlock the next milestone for his team for his stakeholders and looking to actually unlock the next level while he does it and he tries to make the next move there is butterflies in his stomach which is actually anxiousness he is anxious of not possibly going wrong taking a decision that shouldn't backfire and while he is in all of these deliberations he plans to take the next move forward but then again there is something that is holding him holding him back and that is fear fear of actually losing out losing out to competitors losing out market share losing out on, on an idea that possibly he thought would be great but in this emotional turmoil he is still dreaming with his open eyes he is actually looking with full aspirations of what he needs to do next of how he needs to crack the next success path for himself and all of uh, the people with him now my question to all of you is how do you think can an individual with this kind of emotional turmoil be able to execute for that larger goal of winning the entrepreneurial game and i presume most of you might relate to this you might have all of these emotions running day in day out what should i do should it, should i do this shouldn't i do this i presume that so now what happens is when he actually looks to move forward in this direction you can see a compass a compass is actually a navigator of this entrepreneur which is actually guiding him to move forward towards his larger goal but due to all of these emotions he is always directionless he is trying to do stuff but then possibly ending up nowhere so the question is what should he do all all of us have desires all of us have fears all of us have all these emotions these this is normal human just imagine if this body now gets a soul like soul is actually the reason for existence of any human body where his all emotions body parts sync with each other for a larger purpose for existence similarly the soul of an entrepreneur is the larger purpose and that purpose is not profit if you have to actually become an extraordinary business it has to be you thinking to build a business beyond profits and as soon as this purpose is found out by that entrepreneur the compass that you see here now stabilizes it actually stabilizes because now the entrepreneur within itself is more resilient is more tolerant towards the failures that possibly he might see towards all these emotions that are going there because there is a larger purpose attached to it if you now understood what entrepreneurial compass is i would now want you to apply that entrepreneurial compass with me on what we did at covid meals for india and i would actually want you to walk the journey with me recall all of those uh, while it, those were sad times but then at the same time impacting times for us so 5 lakh plus indians in 800 plus cities with 11000 plus meal providers the journey starts with a purpose before this we were just like an organization hundreds of organizations but here we had a choice we had a choice to apply all the technical knowledge all the resources that we have for a larger cause that was to save indian lives that were dying every minute possibly due to directly covid lack of resources lack of food and that is where this purpose started when the second wave of covid shook india india actually needed a miracle 
so what we did was we actually had a simple excel sheet and that was prepared by a celebrity chef mr saranj goela we both knew that this excel sheet couldn't be scaled and actually it couldn't help the masses so what we did we start we actually joined our hands and we built covid meals for india.com where like i mentioned you can register as a service provider you can be a volunteer you can be a restaurant and you can you can be open to providing food for anyone who is looking nearby your location in the next 72 hours the platform went live across the nation it was driven by technology our purpose was of creating this technology was far beyond our motives now so it was not our profits it was not our uh, revenues not not our growth but something that was beyond us as it gained momentum it was actually united by the nation every person in every corner was tweeting or probably sharing post about it there are thousands of tweets and posts which are still on the internet you can see that from the top hollywood celebrities to bollywood celebrities to media houses to ipl team handles everyone was actually speaking one voice to save india and possibly all the indians with a platform that can provide food immediately soon beyond india we were getting viral across the globe so bbc news picked it up cnbc picked it up forbes your story and we were actually all of them were joining the hands with us in spreading the word beyond this what happened actually was that the tech giants of the world reached out to us and they wanted to help us and the community with whatever technology resources they had so the biggest of the companies out there came came to us and actually wanted to become a part of this movement and then we delivered a solution that was more accessible till the ground ground level and that is where we actually learned we learned a concept of building a business beyond profits now everything that i just talked about will wire up here and i will actually want to help all of you understand it with what we have experienced so a two year old team possibly thinks of doing something like this beyond its conventional routes what they get in return we never charged a single rupee on the platform till date never and what did we get in return we got something in terms of a growth that was never possible without covid meals for india because now when we went out in the market we were recognized as community contributors we were recognized as people who saved lives through the technology that we used to sell and that is where you individually have to find that larger purpose today we are talking about sustainability i in my capacity of an entrepreneur have to make all of these things linked where it makes sense for all of us so the question going forward is yeah volume you can just see the impact this full screen full screen niche full screen Use COVID meals for India to connect COVID patients with home chefs. Here is how. आज खाने में क्या बना है? बहुत ही आम सवाल. पर क्या आज खाना बना भी है? आज COVID के चलते भारत के लाखों घरों की सच्चाई ये सवाल बन चुका है. आप और मैं मिलके इस सवाल को बदल सकते हैं. Simply जाइए covidmealsforindia.com और अपने शहर में nearest meal provider को ढूंढिए. उनको directly WhatsApp करिए और अपना order place करिए. अगर आप एक किचन सर्विस या रेस्टोरेंट हैं, तो रजिस्टर एज अ सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एंटर करिए अपनी डिटेल्स एंड यू आर लाइव अक्रॉस इंडिया इन जस्ट सिक्सटी सेकेंड इसे जितना हो सकता है शेयर करिए और हर इंडियन तक पहुंचाइए।
कोविड मील्स फॉर इंडिया से अब आप डायरेक्टली व्हाट्सएप पे कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं ऐसे कोविड मील्स फॉर इंडिया डॉट कॉम इज नाउ ऑफिशियली ऑन व्हाट्सएप एक्सेस टू थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस मील प्रोवाइडर्स अक्रॉस थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस सिटीज डायरेक्टली विद इन सेकेंड गो टू योर फोन डायलर टाइप इन ट्रिपल एट टू एट नाइन वन थ्री वन सिक्स सेव टू योर मोबाइल विद कोविड मील्स फॉर इंडिया गो टू व्हाट्सएप से हाई ऑन कोविड मील्स फॉर इंडिया टाइप टू एंटर योर पिन कोड एंड यू हैव ऑल फूड सप्लायर्स डिलीवरिंग इन योर एरिया स्पेशल थैंक्स टू व्हाट्सएप इंडिया एंड फेसबुक इंडिया फॉर मेकिंग दिस हैपन विद कोविड मील्स फॉर इंडिया डॉट कॉम थैंक यू आई प्रिज्यूम ऑल द ऑन्टरप्रनोर इन द रूम यू माइट नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ थिंकिंग बियॉन्ड बियॉन्ड प्रॉफिट वी नेवर थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग मनी आउट ऑफ दिस बट देन द रिटर्न दैट इट गेव अस वॉज अनमैचेबल okay so now the larger question is that how a purpose driven entrepreneur can actually solve global problems if we actually go out in the market and try to make a list of global problems possibly the pages would be short right the question here is what entrepreneurs can do because please understand entrepreneurs is that community that is a problem solver you give them a problem they can solve it anyhow so if you give them a global problem and they are driven by a purpose it can be solved for an example if you actually take health industry for 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 an example right and the goal is for accessible accessibility of healthcare to the underprivileged now let's say there are multiple entrepreneurs working in their own domains in their own geographies but then are driven by a larger purpose to make health accessible so whatever they do they might be developing an ai algorithm for diagnosis they might be developing new surgical uh, equipments whatever they do if they actually have a larger purpose attached to it do you think that we can actually solve the global level problems by all of these things while they are actually making their core business they are making their profits but then one program in their business is talking about taking the community forward through whatever domains they are in and now imagine if all of these entrepreneurs actually join hands and work towards many common goals all driven by purpose not profits that is where the change can actually happen with this i would actually like to conclude that when you focus on building a business with a purpose beyond profit success follows you with a force that you can never imagine i possibly can be one of those stories but i know when i actually learned this the other way and tried to relate it to any extraordinary business out there this made sense some businesses probably in the fashion industry are today taking the sustainable route and taking away the market share of fast fashion brands a larger purpose some business houses in our country in india are actually building businesses not for profits but to contribute to the national growth across industries you may know some and that is where you can actually build a business beyond profits and generate profits like you could never imagine thank you so much